I got to get this story, man. So you guys end up uh, on Def Jam. Yeah. Uh, how does that happen? Is is you gotta gotta you y'all's manager at the time or no? Uh, nah, we had signed like we were fucking with gutter, but like he yeah he was he was my manager. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Uh, she is beautiful. She is uh talented. She's one of the ones that I look at as one of the ones that I call staples in the whole Dallas area. Uh, the South, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I, I got this little chart I keep, and I, it's certain ones I'd be like, we better than everybody because of this one. And she one of them ones, man. I appreciate Since that. Molly is in the building. I appreciate that, big dog, for sure. Niggas don't be respecting me. So. Man, please, these niggas in trouble. I'm here now. I don't be giving a fuck. <laughs> I got to get this story, man. So you guys end up uh, on Def Jam. Yeah. Uh, how does that happen? Is is you gotta gotta your y'all's manager at the time or no? Uh, nah, we had signed like we were fucking with gutter, but like he yeah he was he was my manager. Okay, he was my manager, and then um, shit came about. One day we was on live, had like twenty people on live, and one of those twenty people was a fan of us. Screen recorded it, um, screen recorded us dancing to two two three, and then Brooke woke up, posted it on Twitter. We were like a million views. What the fuck? And that was your first million views. Yeah, yeah. It was just a video of us on live dancing. Right. Like, not even dancing. We were just, like, rapping our song, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, so, we check our emails. We both get an email from a Def Jam uh, A&R talking about, hey, we seen your video. We like it, da 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 We like, fuck. Next thing you know, we flying out meeting with all the labels. We in New York meeting with everybody, but Def Jam actually, like, they spending money on us before we sign. Wow, mm -hmm. that's the that's the determining factor. So is that yeah. why you chose? Them? Hell no, nah. we chose them just because we felt at home with them. Like they wasn't pushing too much, they wasn't doing too much. It just felt good at the time. The only reason why I wasn't good no more is because our original team left. Mm. Oh, our, that's what it was. Yeah, like the team that we had behind us. Well, not even our team. All the teams left. Like everybody. Why did everybody leave them? Dev Jam got a new thing going on, and they okay. just new new roster, new employees. Rosenberg left the CEO he left like you know so it was just not it no more they wanted to they wanted to do a new like venture with me let's I'm gonna use the word venture a new mm -hmm. route with me and we had a zoom call and I was like that's not you I'm like no I'm done like I don't want to be here and they're like what I'm like I'm done like, but when you have a contract can you just do that no, but that's the thing they broke our contract basically doing, so yeah. without us making it the long run and Going to court, all that long run shit. Just let me go, right? Let me go. That's good. Cool. Uh, so you you basically you left, but I want to talk about the time that you were there, the budget that they had behind you. Was this a 360 deal? They they ain't do you know shit. Was this a 360 they deal? They ain't do shit they were supposed to do first. That's off, what I heard. I, listen, listen. So they were. We had a video. You know, we had a song. With Lil Yachty. We have a song with Lil Yachty. The I seen it. I asked about that, yeah. And so we had a video treatment, crazy, everything. But he had a funeral at the time. So the video got canceled, you mm -hmm. know? And instead of them back doing, like, come on, we got this. Come And said, like, you know, this is a treatment for this video. Let's go. They didn't do that. They slowed down. After that shit happened, team left. Now, we're not at the top of the show because at the time, Danny Lay is top of the show. You know, like, that's how a label works. They not... It's a priority, priority list. Like, you know, just depending on your numbers and shit. Like, you know, and when you do have those numbers, they're going to put game. more behind them numbers to make sure they stay high yeah. type shit. You know, and at that time, it was Danny Lay. Like, she was doing her shit. Um, and so we just wasn't, we wasn't so, a priority. Yeah, that's so crazy. It's, it's, in business, it's always a numbers game. Is who producing more, is who and can they, make they the more signed, money. At that time, they signed, like, 15 people. You know, so when everybody left, they didn't know what to do with those 15 people because now those new A&Rs are signing 15 more people. So now it's just like, we got 30 folks in here that we don't even know what to do with. Cause Did anybody here. else leave? With, like, all, uh, all the 15 people that you're talking about. We that had, day. um yeah, what was it called? Undisputed. I don't know if y'all seen that Def Jam drop, Undisputed. Mm -hmm. And basically... Everybody's gone. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.